Hi, how are you guys? Hello everyone. Marty and I are drinking tea in the garden. It's masala tea. How many of you like dipping biscuit in tea? And I like, drink? I like. <laughs> <laughs> I love masala tea and biscuits, especially digestive biscuit. You know, I love my garden. You know, you know all that, right? We love organic gardening. Our garden is organic gardening. Before going to India, I showed you all the plants that we were planting here, all the veg plants. We have got a huge vegetable garden this year and lot of them are ready for harvesting. You know, all that hard work, most of it goes to Bharti only. He's the, you know, he's the proper <laughs> gardener in our house. I do a bit of gardening too. See, that's a lot. Okay, a lot. he's not. I help so. him a lot, but uh, he's the main gardener. He does everything, you know, digging the soil and using the right fertilizer, right organic fertilizer for each plant, different fertilizers and everything, you know. <laughs> you want some of? <laughs> Look at the bees. bees. <laughs> <laughs> We've got lots of bees and butterflies in our garden. You know, it's really, really good for pollination. It's good for pollination, yeah, it's so beautiful, really, really nice. Yeah. And we are going to harvest a lot today. We have got a lot of vegetables ready for harvesting, loads of them and lot of desi Indian vegetables also. We are going to harvest today. I'll show you after I finish my tea. I've got a lot of plants inside my greenhouse because it was still cold. Even in summer, it was raining all the time and it was cold. I've got many plants outside also, many veg plants. And I'll show you my greenhouse first. I've got a lot of vegetables ready for harvesting. First, I'll show you my greenhouse and then I'll show you outside. I've got a lot of vegetable patches there and here also. Welcome to my greenhouse. <laughs> this is my greenhouse vegetable patch. I'll show you a lot of them are ready for harvesting. I'll show you all of them. Come on. Usually vegetables grow from top to bottom, right? They just hang like this because of gravitational force. But there is one vegetable that defies the gravitational force. That is chili. I'll show you that plant. This is that plant. See, I'll show you closer. See, look at the chilies. See, the stem is here, but the chili is pointing upwards, right? And this is also the same thing. This plant is called a fire in the basket. It's a very, very, very hot chili. Really hot peppers this is. Look. <laughs> I really love these chilies. They are very nice for making pickles, chili pickles, because they are hot. I just love my pickles. I love Indian pickles. You know, I follow my mom and grandmom's recipe. I'll show you when I make those recipes. And um, these two are the same type of chilies. And that one behind is a tomato. It is flowering right now. See, can you see the flowers? Yellow flowers. And this is my ginger plant. I always plant ginger and I get a lot of harvest, but it is still not ready for harvesting. This is lady's finger. It is really good for your brain. All kids know it. All Indian kids know about lady's finger. See, I've got small ones here. See, my mom and the grandmom, they used to say in my childhood that if you eat a lot of lady's fingers, you'll get maths really well. <laughs> I don't know if it is true, but it's good for health. And this is eggplant, aubergine. This is ready to be harvested. There are quite a few of them at the back. Can you see them? See, here there are a lot of them. I've got a lot of eggplants. And this is also ginger plant. And this is an uninvited potato plant here. I don't know how it got here. Maybe there was a potato in the compost and it has grown. I didn't have the heart to pick it, so I've just left it. And that is also one un uninvited potato plant. This is tomatoes. They are small ones. They are small and green here. Three, five of them are there. There is one here. Can you see? Oh, two of them. But uh, they will grow bigger. They are not ready. These tomato plants, I have got some uh, 15 tomato plants here. See, all over here. I planted them a little bit later. So, they will be ready mostly by October time. But some of them are flowering already. This is my most favorite vegetable, most favorite desi vegetable that is bitter gourd. I just love bitter gourd fry. It is my favorite and my mom's favorite also. I can see some of the bitter gourds coming out. Can you see? Small ones. Now they are flowering a lot. Last year we had really nice harvest of bitter gourd. Uh, I saw quite a few of them. See, one here. There, there is a small one here. Can you see that? Lot of them are there. And behind, 
lot of Indian vegetables here also. I'll show all of them. See, that is all my tomato patch here. I've got hundreds of tomato plants. I've got other patches also. I'll show you. And this is my favorite bottle gourd. Those two plants are bottle gourds. See, can you see them going up? That one and this one. And I've got a bottle gourd here also. Three bottle gourd plants. I'll show you one of them. They are coming out now. Can you see this? Can you see this small one? That's bottle gourd. See, there's one more there. I saw a few of them. I've got a bottle gourd patch outside also. I'll show you. I've made a big trellis for it. I'll show that. And this is cucumber. It's ready to be harvested. And I've got a lot of cucumber plants, really nice produce this year. See, these are cucumbers, one, two, three, four, five cucumbers are here. This is small cucumber, <laughs> so cute. And these are all very small cucumbers. Um, I've got a lot of chili plants here. I've got quite a lot of chilies this year. A lot of pots I've planted. And, uh, and this one is chayote plant. Can you see that? I've got a small trellis here. This is chayote and it's going up here. Can you see? Even last year we had a good harvest from chayote. Even one plant will produce many vegetables. See this aubergine eggplant. This is a different color, white color. I think I can harvest this one. This is ready to be harvested. These two are a little smaller they are. And give me a second, I'll show them all. And this is chili again. See, I've got a lot of small chilies, and behind that one has got a little bit bigger ones. See, can you see them? I can harvest them. This is also a plant. I can harvest this one. It looks nice and shiny, it's ready to be harvested. And this is also a cucumber. Can you see? Can you see these cucumbers? And here, one here and one there. I've got lots and lots of cucumbers this year. And this is also chili. See, chilies. And I've got some budgie chilies also. I've got a lot of chili plants outside, I'll show you. And this is capsicum. See, this is kind of an orange capsicum plant. These are small, they have to ripe. And this side here, there is one. Uh, it is orange, but it has to grow a little bit more. It's not yet ready. See, they're all small capsicum. And this is chili again. And I've got another aubergine to be harvested. See, this is ready. I love aubergine sambar, you know, curries and everything. I make stir fry also, and that is also bottle gourd. Uh, it hasn't started flowering yet, it has grown till there. And this is snake gourd. This plant is snake gourd, and this one is bitter gourd again. See, bitter gourd. Can you see bitter gourd here? See. I saw quite a few of them and the snake gourd is also producing now. See, can you see this? This is a snake gourd vegetable. You know, snake gourd with moong dal will be very, very tasty. I make a lot of recipes. Even I make snake gourd salad also. That's very healthy and it's really tasty as well. My kids also love it. This is my greenhouse plants. I have to harvest all of them and then I'll show you the outside ones. This is a little bit ripe cucumber, isn't it? There is more here. There's one that is really nicely grown. Can you see? <laughs> really nice cucumber, nice and juicy cucumber. We have got a lot of cucumbers this year. Every year I plant a lot of cucumbers. If you are wondering what I am going to do with all these cucumbers, because people, many people eat only in salads, they don't do anything else. I make lot of things with cucumber. I am going to show you lot of yummy recipes and I also make cucumber night cream. 
it's really good for your skin it will keep your skin very soft and supple I already have some cream left over so I will be making it maybe in another one week or 10 days when that runs over and then I will show you how to make it and I also make some cucumber spray I spray it on my face four or five times a day when I am not working that keeps your face really bright and healthy and fresh I will show you all of them there is one more here also this is really big this is nice and shiny I think it is ready to be harvested lovely eggplant nice these chilies are ready Parthi yeah they are ready yeah I, one. Yeah. I don't need all these chilies I will be giving it to my friends and neighbors also you know the more you harvest more produce you will get once they are big enough to be harvested you need to pick yeah. them up but check in that one yeah check the other one bring that one here oh yeah many are ready many are ready here see this one is done nice chilies who likes spicy hot food who loves their chilies please tell me in the comment section Pati loves chilies <laughs> I like mild food but uh, Pati likes really spicy and hot Indian food take this one yeah that's also ready and this needs to go a little bit more yeah there is a very big winter squash here I'll show you it's really really big look it's here there is a very big winter squash we've got lot of winter squash and summer squash plants here but this one has grown really big it is actually double the size of Indian pumpkin size look <laughs> this is actually a winter squash if you are wondering what I will be cooking with this really big winter squash I usually make sambar and for idiapam I make stew vegetable stew with this squash and then with chickpeas it will be amazing curry with chickpeas you know sprouted chickpeas very healthy and tasty also and I make some sabji also for roti sabji and then I make kutu poriyal stir fries also it is amazing I will show you when I make them Parthi is trying to cut the squash so big <laughs> it is really big Parthi it is really big yeah be careful that's yeah, a big spiky it. also the yeah. stems are really spiky this one is small that this one is, is small really this big. is big yeah all the squash will get really big we've got a lot of small baby ones here and this is my bottle guard trellis Parthi and our friend Sendhil together made this so this trellis is beautiful isn't it it's a beautiful trellis and very strong also really strong trellis this one and I've got a lot of bottle guard plants here and some beans also I planted beans see the ordinary beans French beans I've made stir fries with this a lot of times we harvested a lot of beans already but still there are a lot left see lot of beans we harvested many times I used it in stir fries poriel and all that it was very very tasty this bottle guard is producing now see I showed inside the greenhouse also there are quite a lot of tender ones small bottle guards this is kind of a big bottle guard you know the thick one it is it's flowering a lot it's really nice and I've got this runner beans also you know what they call it as flat beans lot of flat beans also here see some of them I've left it for seeds for next year and I harvested it many times see these runner beans flat beans here and I have got a big pumpkin here see the pumpkin one has come out but it has to grow more the green pumpkin it's flowering a lot you know I left this patio area for this pumpkin plant because this is sheltered patio area even I used to have my furniture here garden furniture here Parthi are you able to take it yeah I'm going to take it now yeah oh. <laughs> Ouch. it's really big Ouch. <laughs> very big nice lovely fresh beans
some of the flat beans I am leaving it, you know I am leaving it to mature like this one, see I am leaving it to mature, this is flat beans or you can call it runner beans also. The seeds will be really tasty to cook, you know you can use it in a lot of Indian curry recipes. I am leaving a lot of flat beans like that. I have planted a lot of veggies outside also, not in the greenhouse, outside also I will show you all of them. They are all coming nicely and some of them are ready to be harvested, I will show you. This is star jasmine, it has survived this cold weather, it is really nice now. This uh, rose season is almost over, you know in UK roses will be in June only, it is almost over. And these are dahlias, summer flowers, I love dahlias. You know they are just colourful, right of colours and this needs to be harvested. This is called carjet, snowball carjet this is, usually carjet will be in green colour and also long size but this is a round variety. I have got one more there also, this is very very nice, you can grate it and use it in uh, pizzas or omelettes, anything. And this is my carrots, I planted all these carrots in uh, pots, so it will be easy, easily you can do the harvest. These are not grown yet, see, you can see them coming out, they are not fully grown yet. Um, I have got different colours of carrots, the normal orange carrot and also purple and white carrots. And this is my desi vegetable patch, all the Indian vegetables, can you see the eggplants here? This is the green eggplant, can you see it? Sorry, uh, here you go, here it is. Green one is very very tasty aubergine, tasty eggplant. Eggplant is called as aubergine in the UK, both in UK and Europe, it is eggplant only. See these are all small ones, I have got lot of aubergines. This is the purple variety, I have got this is white eggplants. I have got lot of them, I have got lot of them in pots also, I will show you in a minute. Mm, can I harvest this one? This I can harvest, it is ready. See when it is really nice fully grown you can see it, it will be really shiny, when it is shiny you can harvest it. See this is green, this is also ready. You know, this will be really nice in sambar or even as a stir fry and these are all tomato plants. I planted lot of varieties of tomatoes, you know what I like? I like the plant ripe tomato, I do not cut them, I do not pick them until they are slightly red. I like it that way, they are more sweeter and juicier also. They are not yet ready, they are still very green. They are all different varieties, you know, different varieties will have different sweetness and the flavour is also different in them. These are all tomatoes, I have more tomatoes. You know I have the big tomato also, really big ones. They will be kind of elephant size and these are all beans again. I have left some of them to mature here for seeds next year, see. Beans here also, fresh nice organic beans. I will show the rest of the garden. Stem and cut it. Yep. This is really nice snowball carjet look. It is really big carjet. It is very beautiful colour isn't it. You can grate it and put it in omelettes, it will be very nice. I just love summer flowers in the garden, they just brighten the place don't they? They just lift your mood up. These dahlias will be really beautiful when all of them flower. When all of them, all the buds come out at once. Uh, these are my chilli plant army. <laughs> See how many chilli plants I have. These are round ones, you know, the big fat round ones. Uh, this is also the same variety. That one is also round one. These will be really nice for uh, masala powders, you know. The dried big chilies are really good for it. And uh, these are ordinary chilies. You can use them in, um, they are medium spicy, medium hot. You can use them in stir fries, in all the puriyal and all that, all the Indian cooking you can use them. Lot of them are producing. And uh, this is my bay leaf tree, see, green fresh bay leaf. I can use in my biryanis and curries and stuff. And this is my ornamental type, you know, it is not actually ornamental, you can use it for cooking also. This is the small tomato variety. 
See the cherry tomatoes, salad tomatoes they call it. I'll zoom it and show you. See, it has got lots of flowers now. Once it produces, all of them produce, it'll be covered with tomatoes. It'll be really nice to look at. And I've, I told you, right, I've got big tomato variety. <laughs> That's called as beef tomatoes. These are small ones of the beef tomatoes. I'll show you the big ones. I saw really big one this morning. See, this is the beef tomato, they call it. See, really big, really nice and big. This I can harvest. Can you see it's a little bit reddish? I can harvest. There are a lot of them. See. And this is chayote again. Can you see this? This big plant is chayote. And I've got some bitter gourd here also. This is a potato plant. This one is bitter gourd. Can you see? This is bitter gourd. And I've got one more bitter gourd here. Because I love bitter gourd. All the Indian bitter gourd recipes. See, it's good for your health. And this is snake gourd. Oh, sorry. Can you see the white flower? That is snake gourd. It is still a small plant. It will take time. And this is aubergine eggplant again. See, oh my God, some bug has eaten. <laughs> because we don't use any antifungal spray. We only use neem oil for pesticide control and uh, all this pest control, you know. See, this one is ready. Lot of aubergines, eggplants are ready. See, there is a big one here. Can you see that? Really big eggplant. I can harvest that also today. And um, these are also ladies' fingers, small ladies' fingers. And can you see these cucumbers? You can see why I've left them to ripe, to yellow color, because you know, I love them. I love the cucumbers when they ripe. You can just take the skin off, peel the skin, and take the flesh from inside and add some natural sugar, jaggery or something or even honey and mix it, smash it and make it a smoothie or a juice. It'll be really tasty. Try it. Trust me, it's amazing. That's why I'm ripening some cucumber. I can harvest all of them today. Except one or two, I'm leaving them for ripening. This is also my chili plant. See? Lots and lots of chili plants because I'm an Indian. I love spice. I love hot food. <laughs> spicy hot food. <laughs> all Indians love spicy hot food. Look at the cucumbers. These are all the spiky ones. You need to wear a gloves when you cut it. Pati, we've got a lot of cucumbers here. Yes, yes, yes. There are a lot in uh, there. We can put see the gloves on. I think it's eight or ten. Yeah, yeah there are many of them. Many of them. Can yeah. you cut that one now? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Come. Yeah, I'm coming in. Come and cut yeah. it. There are many of them. Oh. Yep, I'll take one. See, I saw one there also. Yeah. Oh, many, not many, just that's one. Many, that's what I said. <laughs> a lot. Be careful. They're all spiky. I know. Really spiky. These are again chilies. See? This is chili. This is uh, this I use for budgie chilies. You know, the big chilies with less spice. I've got the proper Indian budgie chilies also. Who likes budgie chilies? <laughs> I made many times. I made budgies many times. See, I use it in stir fries also like a normal vegetable. There's no hotness at all. It's not at all hot. It's sweet peppers. Sweet chilies they are. Look. Uh, and this also. And this is aubergine again. I've got a few eggplants on them. And that is also eggplants. Those two are also eggplants. And I've got again cherry tomatoes here. See, the salad tomatoes. I harvested a lot of potatoes this year. And this is also chilies. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, all of them. I harvested it many times. But still, some of them are left. And uh, this is my few more potatoes. Last ones these potatoes are and that is beetroot also I have see can you guess what this plant is anybody can you guess it <laughs> give up <laughs> these are watermelon I've got two plants here and two in this also in this pot watermelon only now the weather is picking up it needs really really hot weather when the Sun comes out 
it will grow really really quickly very quickly it will grow i'll show you my army of tomato plants i've got another big patch also i'll show you this first see these tomatoes are ready to be harvested can you see i can pick them they're all ready see many of them look ready and this is a salad tomato small one see many are ready tomatoes are ready these are really ripe you know what many people do this comes in a row like that so they keep it as an ornamental plant also inside the house but we can eat it it's a perfectly healthy tomato see they're all different different varieties and this we call it as bulb tomato because it looks like a bulb isn't it the shape really looks like a bulb i've got many of them i've got one big tomato here that is again the beef tomato variety you see this beef tomato it has to be a little bit more bigger and look <laughs> in my pond the lilies are coming out they came out really you know they came out really well this afternoon when the sun was out now it looks like it's going to rain again so they are shrinking again you need the sunlight for the lilies hey come here and see this marrow what is it it's a marrow and yeah, that's it my one. ganesh and buddha here see they are sitting happily in the pond there's a big marrow, marrow here come on Yeah, I saw many marrows there. Yeah, yeah, it's big one. Very really big one. Show me. Yeah. Here. Show me. I saw one the other side. Oh, wow. See this marrow. We this can make a lot of Indian yeah. recipes with marrow. You know, you can make a stew and a curry. There's one more. See, there is one more. There's I two, saw three I saw there. two there. Yeah, there are three there. Two of them. Three? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. See, can you see that those green lines? that is marrow and uh, can you cut that marrow yeah they look really big this can be harvested i guess this can be harvested this is really big this is really stirred ah you know, it's really difficult to, to yeah. get into and then cut be it, careful yeah. because the stem is a little bit spiky yeah i know i got rashes i cut one the other day and got rashes Wow. Wow, nice big marrow. You can make lot of Indian recipes with it. You know, even I make cutlets and veg rolls, lot of things. And some more beans also here. I just harvested hell harvested hell a lot of beans from there. And this is French beans, the normal French beans. Party there are more cucumbers here. Yeah, look. I know. There are plenty there. Plenty of cucumbers. Oh my god. There are two there. Oh my god this one is really big this you can cut it off yeah see that one you can cut off yeah i'm going to cut it off yeah wow <laughs> there are lot one. of them yeah um some of them are spiky be careful parthi yeah sure you know so <laughs> anything spiky i send parthi there parthi there are more marrows here oh da they are big they Oh, the other side. Other Look. Side. Oh, great. There are more there. That one is really big. Okay. See, the roses are at the end of their season. season Again, cucumber here. More cucumber. Cucumber. Yes, more. Yeah, oh, I saw a few more here. Three, four, big ones. Big ones. I want to cut that one. Yeah, don't cut that one. Yeah, yeah. That's really big. That's big. Cut it. Oh yeah, I can see. Oh my god. Nice and big <laughs> but it has got spikes be careful. Spikes, yes. Yeah. We need to rub it a bit mm. so it will go off. Be careful about yeah, it. Sure. And I've got more strawberry plants here. We had a really nice harvest this year. My kids showed it to me when I was in India. You know, I was with my parents for some time. I had some personal work there. This is also a cucumber. Pati yeah you know the spaghetti one yes is that also ready i think so yeah i didn't see and uh, see the yellow one oh <laughs> lovely yellow yeah i saw the flowers the other day 
they're all ready. This is called peeled pumpkin. See, it's a variety of pumpkin. Pati, I think it's ready to be harvested. You can take it. See? This one, you see? And this one, the other side also. And that one, it's little, little. Let's take this yeah. one. Yeah. Maybe that one after a Sometime, week yeah. or something. It's called field pumpkin. You can cook delicious pumpkin curries, recipes, you know, sweets like a pumpkin pie. And Pati makes amazing pumpkin chicken. <laughs> Pati, can you make pumpkin chicken? Sure, one sure, day? yeah. He makes pumpkin chicken, you know, it's a different recipe. All his friends love it. And this is called spaghetti squash. Can you see it? See, this is... Pati, we can cut this one yes, off. Yes, I will do that. Yeah. And we have got more uh, cucumber here. See? This looks like a twin cucumber, isn't it? Pati is a twin cucumber. <laughs> yeah. Twins. We can cut this one off. Yep. And, do that. Uh, see, we have got a lot of slugs and uh, snails in our garden. They ate these leaves. This is also a pumpkin variety one. And uh, more marrows. This one, oh, this is blackberry thorns. This marrow is a little bit small, but I think we can cut this one, Pati. Yeah, this is, this is ready. One. Yeah, that's ready. This one is ready. Careful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> really nice, healthy marrow. It's like Organic a baby, one. isn't it? <laughs> Organic marrow. Yeah, yeah. It's like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a lot of blueberries also this year. And also gooseberries. I made lots and lots of gooseberry and curry leaves juice, gooseberry pickle with it before I went to India. And we had harvest, we harvested the raspberries also. This year my kids had a very good time harvesting fresh fruits cucumber again that is also a cucumber and we have got pumpkin see we've got a small pumpkin patch here and there is one more here also look at the snail see i told you about the snails right there's a snail here see Ooh. just went inside that is the snail i told you about it comes all over the garden this year we've already harvested a lot of beans. I still have a lot left. This side I have got some flat beans and also French beans. I made bean stir fry so many times this year. Come, I'll show you. See how healthy these beans are. They're all organic beans. I love organic homegrown vegetables. They taste great, don't they? I've left some of them for next year's seeds. Look. I didn't pick them up because I wanted them to get bigger and they will have seeds inside. I want them to dry out so that I can use it, plant them next year. We've got loads of beans to be harvested today. We can't eat all of it. So I'm going to give it to my neighbors, some of my neighbors and also my friends. My friends love vegetable gardening. They come to our garden all the time to spend time here near the pond and everything. And they help me out in gardening as well. And yeah, they love fresh vegetables. is very very happy yay i've got a few more capsicum plants here they've produced really nicely this year look the weather was perfect for them but it needs a little bit more hot weather okay, these are all green capsicum and this one is also green capsicum can you see it the plant will be covered with capsicum really by this time but uh, this year it's a little bit late because the weather was cold it needs hot weather i told you right <laughs> i always keep the many of the cucumber to ripe see i'm ripening them because they'll be really nice for juice and the smoothies the ripened ones but i think i can harvest this one 
that is ready party some of them are ready the cucumbers yeah i need to cut it off yeah they are fully ripe see there are many behind three of them are ready and um, this is pumpkin can you see the little pumpkin coming out there are two big pumpkins also in this one many of them are coming ah there's a little pumpkin coming and uh, can you see this green lovely pumpkin even last year we had lots and lots of pumpkins see pumpkin and i've got a big cruciferous patch also i've got some uh, cabbage cauliflower and also some uh, broccoli also and i told you i've got a huge very big patch of tomatoes <laughs> see this patch it's full of tomatoes <laughs> but uh, these are for later harvesting so that i can have uh, uh, continuous vegetables for a couple of months at least mm, and they've just started producing it'll see it'll take some time i love tomatoes you need tomatoes for indian cooking right onion and tomatoes you can't start any curry without onion or tomatoes <laughs> you need them you definitely need them this is my cruciferous vegetable patch i've got broccoli here i've got two broccoli here double of them and this is amazing cauliflower they're really nice and thick you know really heavy ones see that's broccoli again broccoli is really nice this year i harvested two of them already and i've got lovely cabbages also cabbages broccoli everything all the three cruciferous and um, see that one is coming up this is broccoli again and i've got all these chili plants next to it <laughs> chili plants in the pods i have loads of chilies this year i always feel home grown vegetables taste better than the store bought ones it just makes me so happy that i'm just taking the food from our garden to the kitchen it can't get fresher than that the more you love and care for your plants the better the produce will be gardening relieves your stress and anxiety things like weeding digging and raking are a good exercise as well happy gardening i'll catch you guys in my next video take care bye bye